Ladies, today I'm going to show you how to depot your three wick candles from Bath and Body Works and use them for different things. Um, I'll show you real quick what I use mine for and then I'm going to go into the step-by-step -step process on how I depot my candles once they're all burnt. This was one of my depotted candles that I'm now using to hold lip glosses. So you can use them to contain and organize your makeup or you can use them to organize your jewelry like this. I have some of my wrap bracelets in this one. This little topper here also was purchased at Bath & Body Works. So if you purchase a more decorative um, lid, it makes it an even more really pretty jewelry container or any kind of container. This one has the Eiffel Tower on top of it. And I think this was three, like $3.50, so definitely worth it to make it a more decorative piece in your home. And then I also have one here showing um, an empty candle container with peppermint bark in it because these were all really nice to hold cookies or goodies to give us presents. And you can put like a label on top of here saying like homemade goods by you know Melissa or whoever, whatever your name is. Wouldn't that be really cute and tie it with a bow? So you can, these are so multi-purpose. They're such nice glass jars that it's a shame to throw them out. So that's why I depot mine. This one is just an empty candle. And now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is what we're gonna start off with. Three candles that need to be depotted that won't burn anymore. The Bath and Body Works ones, there's usually like just a little, maybe half an inch to an inch left on the bottom after it stops burning. So that's the part we need to depot. So next we're going to place these in the freezer and leave them for quite a bit, probably like a, few, a day or two. And let's go place them. And there we go. I placed them in the freezer. And... Okay, so now I've taken these out of the freezer. They have been in for about a week now. Um, so now they have lifted around the sides here. You can see it a little bit better right here. The candle's lifting off the glass there. So now you're going to take a knife and you're just going to, it's already cracking a little bit, but you're just going to split it like that. And then, you can get the pieces out so easily this way. Let's see, the pieces just come right off like that. It's really nice and simple, so I'll show you when I get that cleaned out. So, I was lucky and the wicks came right off because they had been in the freezer for so long, the candles, that the glue also froze and they came right off with the um, wax, so they're pretty clean. I am gonna clean these with warm water and soap as well, but you need to make sure that they're not freezing cold still because the glass will crack. So you can soak these in hot water after they have come to room temperature, the glass. So next, I'm only, all I'm gonna do is peel off these stickers here and get them nice and clean on the surface. So these come right off, they just peel, as you can see here, they peel right off. So now my candles are taking a bubble bath. <laughs> I took all the stickers off them and now they're just soaking in soap and hot water. I also filled the sink about halfway up the candles so that the gooeyness of the stickers can come off the side as well. There's a little bit of residue left over on one of them. So I'm just going to leave them here for a little bit and then I'm going to scrub them with a sponge and then they'll be nice and shiny clean and I'll show you what I store in them when they're nice and clean and empty. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how to depot the candles. If you have any questions, please, you know, to ask me down below. Also, if you if you have any cool ideas on how to use your depotted candles, like I have shown a few, I would love to see your ideas as well. So let me know on either Twitter or down below in the comments. Bye guys.